history has known many great liars. Copernicus, Goebbels, St. Ralph the liar. But there have been none quite so vile as the Tudor king, Henry VII. It was he who rewrote history to portray his predecessor, Richard III, as a deformed maniac who killed his nephews in the tower. But the real truth is that Richard was a kind and thoughtful man who cherished his young wards. In particular, Richard, Duke of York, who grew into a big, strong boy. Henry also claimed he won the Battle of Bosworth Field and killed Richard III. Again, the truth is very different, for it was Richard, Duke of York, who became king after Bosworth Field and reigned for 13 glorious years. As for who really killed Richard III and how the defeated Henry Tudor escaped with his life, all is revealed in this, the first chapter of a history never before told, the history of the Black Adder. of our sweet content. <laughs> May earth cast winter by these Tudor clouds. And I that am not shaped for black-faced war. <laughs> I that am rudely cast and want true majesty. <laughs> and forced to, part, to set sweet England free. I pray to heaven we farewell. And all who fight us, Go to hell. Hooray! Absolutely. Hooray! <laughs> I know not, my lord. I'll ask my son. Harry! Who is that? It is your other son, my lord. It is my other son, my lord. Fight see with us on the morrow. What's his name? Edmund. Edna! Fight you with us on the morrow! Uh, oh, goodness, no! No, I thought I'd fight with the enemy! <laughs> You're uh, not putting him anywhere near me, are you? No, 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 um, he'll be somewhere amongst the rabble. Oh, arrow fodder. Precisely. Yeah. <laughs> What a little turd. <laughs> Percy, do you see how the king picks me out for special greeting? No, my lord. I saw it, my lord. Ah, and what is your name, little fellow? My name is Baldrick, my lord. Ah, then I shall call you Baldrick. I shall call you my lord, my lord. <laughs> I like the cut of your jib, young fellow, my lad. How would you like to be my squire in the battle tomorrow? It would be a great day tomorrow for we nobles. Well, not if we lose, Percy. If we lose, I'll be chopped to pieces. My arms will end up in Essex, my torso in Norfolk, and my genitalia stuck up a tree somewhere in Rutland. <laughs> what the hell, my lord, we cannot lose. Well, we could if we wanted to. Ah, but we won't, Percy. And I shall prove to all that I am a man. But you are a man, lord. But how shall it be proved, Percy? Well, they can look up that tree in Rutland. <laughs> it shall be proved by mine enemies rushing to the water closet in terror. Hooray! Hooray! Come, a toast. Let all those who go to don armour tomorrow remember to go before they don armour tomorrow. Hooray! 
Already I can hear the sound of battle ringing in my ears. Once more unto the bridge, dear friends, once more. Consign their parts most private to a Rutland tree. Blood, 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 be your motto. There's going to have to be a certain amount of violence. <laughs> but at least we know it's all in a good cause, don't we? And gentlemen in London still in bed shall think themselves a curse they were not here and hold their manhood cheap while others speak of those who fought with us on Ralph the Liar's Day. What do you want? Did you want to go to the battle this morning? <laughs> oh my God, it's 11 o'clock! Oh. What is it? Where is this battle then? Oh, somewhere called Bosworth Field! Since I reached puberty. Come yeah, my lord. Ah. On with Warwick to glory. Ah. Yes, um, I'm not so sure what needed, you know, Warwick. I mean, everything seems to be going very well, doesn't it? <laughs> Fighting. <laughs> Clearly having the time of their lives. Why, something over there aren't fighting. They're, they're just lying down. The dead, my lord. <laughs> Damn, I knew I'd forgot something. Would you excuse me a moment, Lord? Your Majesty! Ah. You've lost your steed! Ted mine! No, no, no. I've won the battle. I've saved the kingdom. I think I can find myself a horse. A true, my noble lord. I'll see you back at the castle. So be it. Hi. A horse. <laughs> a horse. <laughs> my kingdom. A horse. Ah. Horsey. <laughs> Oi, that's my horse! <laughs> That'll teach you. <laughs> you won't be doing that again, now will you? Oh my god, it's Uncle Richard! <laughs> Oh, oh dear, Richard the Third. <laughs> what are you going to do? Oh, quick, quick. Where's the head? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, 
you not be expected to carry everything? Percy, you brainless son of a prostitute. Where have you been? I've just proved that I'm a man. Look what I found. Oh, thank God. Quick, Percy, quick. Put it down and let's get out of here. Come no, on. no, no, no. I found it. It's mine. What do you mean it's yours? <laughs> I'm going to use it to prove that I killed a nobleman. And which nobleman, pray? Uh, <laughs> well, it's the king, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Lost! All is lost! What? Flee! Flee! Oh my god, quick! Let's get out of here! Take me with you! Get your hands off! If you leave me alone here, I'll die! If you don't leave me alone, I'll kill you myself! <laughs> now leave him here! Come on! Quick. I'll give you money! Ten thousand sovereigns! Within seconds, Henry Tudor will be here at our gates. Oh, but Edmund, I'm not ready. I haven't had a bath or anything. Mother, Henry is our enemy. When his men get here, they'll brutally ravish you and every woman in the castle. Oh, well, I shan't bother to change then. Hello! <laughs> what do you want? Listen! Oh, my God. They're here already. Run for your lives! Run for the hills! No, uh, my lord, they're, they're coming from the hills. Oh, sorry, <laughs> run away from the hills! Run away from the hills! If you see the hills, run the other way! <laughs> no, my lord, it's all right. They're flying the banners of our King Richard. What's impossible? He's dead, isn't he? King Richard dead? <laughs> yes. Ah. Uh, God knows how. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. That's really upset the tulip cart. Those flags, Percy, are obviously just a cunning trick to deceive us into staying. No, no, I don't think it is a cunning trick. Well, no, it's not a particularly cunning trick because we've seen through it. But they obviously thought it was cunning when they thought it out. No, 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 no. What I mean, my lord, is I don't think they did think it out. What do you think? Someone else thought it out when they borrowed it for the occasion? No, my lord, I, I don't think it's a trick at all. You don't think why the people cast under someone else's banner is a trick? Well, no, I suppose it isn't. Ah! It's only your father. Hold up that bloody door! Richard, it's you. Well, who'd you expect it to be, woman? I thought it would be Henry Tulip. Henry Tulip? <laughs> Have you lost your conkers? So you won? Yes, of course. We won. We won. Victory! Yeah! <laughs> so I suppose now you want to ravish me. <laughs> In a moment. Woman's oh, insatiable. Three cheers! For good King Richard! Hop, hop! Huzzah! Hop, hop! Huzzah! Hop, hop! Huzzah! 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 I was nowhere near him at the time. I, I just heard from someone that he'd, uh, uh, I mean, I don't even know where he was killed. I was completely on the opposite side of the field. I was nowhere near the cottage. Not that it was a cottage. It was a river. But that I would know, of course, because I wasn't there. But apparently some fool cut his head off, or at least killed him in some way, perhaps took an ear off or something. Yes, yes, in fact, I think he was only wounded. Ah. Uh, or was that somebody else? Yes, I think it was. Why, well, he wasn't even wounded. Why, did someone say he was dead? Yes! <laughs> what? It's true, my lord. I stumbled on his body myself. Oh, pardon me, thou bleeding piece of earth. Thank you, Harry. Sing me Thank to you, life. Harry. Thank you, Harry! Yes. And we all know who did this dreadful deed. Don't we? Henry Tudor! <laughs> yes! And he still roams free! Harry! Call for silence! Silence! <laughs> for the king! Long live King Richard the Fourth! This 
day has been as twere a mighty stew in which the beef of victory was mixed with the vile turnip of sweet Richard slain and the grisly dumpling of his killer fled. But we must eat the yellow wobbly parts. serves. <laughs> in life, each man gets what he deserves. Well, come on. Let's go and kill some more prisoners. Ah. <laughs> Prince of the realm. Hop, <laughs> hop! Huzzah! 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 Can you imagine the power? It's ours, all ours. What? Yours, all yours. yours. Ah, Edmund, there you are. Now, I know it's a little early, but I'd just like to get these uh, battle averages sorted out. <laughs> now then, who did you kill today? Um, no one. No one? Oh, dear. Right, uh, I'll put you down for a duck, then. Which, I'm afraid, takes you out of the running for the Legion of Honour. Oh, I see. Sorry. Sorry, I thought you meant had I killed King Richard. What? <laughs> what was the question? Who did you kill today? Oh, I see. Ah, uh, right. right. Uh, let's see. Uh, um, pedant. What? Pleasant. Peasants. 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 There are a lot of peasants. Uh, but they don't really count, do they? Only in the event of a tie. Nevertheless, how many did you kill? Oh, wow. Uh, four. Four. Hand. Handrad. Four. Handrad. Four. Hand. Four. Hundred. Hand. Fifty. Four hundred and fifty. <laughs> Good Lord, that's three times more than myself. Yes, well, I had a couple of lucky breaks. <laughs> Any nobles? Ah, let me see, nobles. Um, I think yeah, Lord, Lord Coverdale. Who fought on our side, I believe. <laughs> uh, yes, I think Lord Coverdale saw me slaying um, Warwick. Warwick the Wild of Leicester? Yes, that's him. I'm pretty wild he was, too. I took some finishing off, I can tell you. Yes, indeed. I killed him myself at one point. <laughs> Anyone else? Um, um, let me see. Uh, he's trying to put names to faces. Yes, well, uh, this is the list of the lords as yet unaccounted for. Uh, um, Roger de Runcy. Oh, de Runcy, yes, he was one of mine. Yes. Uh, Lord Thomas of Devon. Ah, uh, yes, backslash. Lord Yovel. Ah, uh, yes, groin job. Good. <laughs> this is remarkable, Edmund. Nice. Remarkable. Oh, and the Bishop of Bath and Well. Ah, uh, yes, we'll never walk again. We'll conduct the thanksgiving, sir. <laughs> oh, Bath and Well. Ah, Lord Percy. Edmund tells me that you managed to turn up late for the battle, so there's not much point in asking you your score, is there? At last, I can relax. Who the hell is this? <laughs> ah, well, you remember that dying man we saw in the cottage? The one I specifically told you not to bring back to the castle under any circumstances? Mm, yes, that's the one, yes. So what is he doing in my bed? Well, he claims to be a wealthy man. I thought if we nurse him back to health, he may reward us. No, wait. I think I have an idea. If he is a wealthy man, and we nurse him back to health, he may reward us. Oh, <laughs> brilliant, my lord. Very quick thinking. Thank, Thank you, Baldrick. Well, what would you expect? After all, who has the fastest brain in the land? Prince Edmund, Duke of Edinburgh. Who is the boldest horseman in the land? Prince Edmund, Duke, Duke of, of Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Who is the bravest swordsman in the land? Oh, don't tell me that's that Earl from Norfolk. Prince Edmund, Edmund Duke, Duke of, of Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Precisely. Or, as I shall be known from now on, the Black Vegetable. <laughs> My lord, wouldn't something like the black adder sound better? No. Wait. I think I have a better idea. What about the black 
Nada! That one! That pair? That one! You're certainly wittier than your father, my lord. Oh. Yes, uh, and head and shoulders over Richard the Third. <laughs> supposed to be witty. Uh, no, my lord. Uh, that, that was an example of the sort of thing that you yourself would not stoop to. Go away! Yes, yes my lord. lord. You're still here, are you? Uh, yes. Wait a moment. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? I don't know. I feel that I've seen you before also. Well, I am Prince Edmund, son of Richard IV. Why, who are you? Well, I'm not important. <laughs> not important? You mean you're not rich? No. Yes, yes, I'm incredibly rich. I'm, I'm a very wealthy, um, modest person who wishes to remain nameless. Well, you'd better be rich. Get your money together, get better and get out of my bed. Is that clear? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, very fetching. Hello to you. Hello. Hello. Oh, goodness me. I hadn't expected to see you like this. Sitting down, you mean? Ye yes, that's right. Sitting down. Goodness, look. Look, you're sitting down. Yes. But I, I, I haven't seen you sitting down since... Uh, yesterday. Was it only yesterday? Good Lord. Um, uh, well, how was your battle? Fine. Somebody cut my head off at one point, but otherwise everything went swimmingly. <laughs> how are you, Edna? Edmund. Oh, your father told me Edna. Uh, no, no. So, Edna, you loathsome little fairy maggot. How are you? Uh, oh, how, how very, very kind of you to ask, um, Your Majesty. I'm very well, and, uh, and it's very good to see you, because... Frankly, yes. Well, well, well. Frankly, uh, gosh, you look well. <laughs> frankly, what? Spit it out, you horrid little scabby reptile. Uh, well, frankly, everyone thought you were dead. <laughs> well, frankly, I am. <laughs> Do come in. No, don't come in. Why not? Have you got someone in there with you? Um. Not as such. Is it a woman? No. Is it a man? Um. <laughs> um, yes. Yes, it is. You hesitated, Edmund. It's not a sheep, is it? <laughs> no, it's not a sheep. Well, then let me in. So farewell, Edna. You'll be seeing me later. Um. Have, uh, have you got transport? Um, perhaps you'd like to borrow my horse again? Oh, or at all? I mean, not that you borrowed it before. Coming. Are you all right, Edmund? Oh, you look as if you've just seen a ghost. He is. Hurry up anyway. You're expected at the banquet. Um, look, um, mother, uh, you won't tell anyone about my oversleeping uh, this morning and, and what have you? Now, will you? Now, would I, Edmund? Do I tell people that your brother Harry is scared of spoons? Or that your father has very small private parts? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mother! 
Bleh. Bleh. Oh, Edmund. <laughs> it's the lying I find so hurtful. <laughs> You dare sit there, boy? That was King Richard's seat. Would you insult his ghost? Um, no. No, sorry. Yes, find your own chair, you smelly little dog's pizzle. <laughs> How many prisoners have you got, Harry? I'm still I'm not Harry. Harry. I'm, I'm down Richard. in the dungeons. Well, he should have raised to my room, will you? Very well. Do you want them hung? Hello? No fresh ones. Hello? I want to practice my Is back. Oh, I don't think you need to, the way you slaughtered Lord Hello? Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I wish Uncle Dicky was here. Uh, don't dicky me, ducky. <laughs> Tonight, honored friends, we are gathered to celebrate a great victory and to mourn a great loss. Mm. Yeah, yeah. A toast to our triumph, our triumph, triumph. and I raise our royal cast upon the man who slew Richard, our noble king. It was him. Oh my God! Quiet at the end there. Whoever it was. It was him. Edna! Wherever he be! He's down there at the end! He shall be struck down! Well, then get on with it, you stupid oaf. He's there! It wasn't me! Who said that? The idiot who killed me this afternoon. I didn't! Well, then, who did? It was actually Edmund who interrupted, sire. Hang the little slug! Ah! I will hang silence! <laughs> Another toast to dead King Richard. Oh, my God. Gentlemen! Oh, thank you, thank you all. Thank you very much for nothing. Thank you so much. That's the last you'll be seeing of me. Not that you've seen much of me in any way. Now that we have silence, we shall continue with the ceremony of desecration. Produce the portrait of the pretender Henry Tudor. <laughs> Paralyzed with terror? Why have you lured me here, you loathsome drabs? We bear good news. What news could such repulsive harbingers convey? Today has brought misfortune. But one day, oh, oh glorious, glorious day. day! One day, oh, a happy, happy day! day. <laughs> yes? You shall be king! Yes! Your Majesty! Well, that is good news, isn't it? God be with you, you snaggle-toothed vultures! <laughs> History, here I come! The sun of hoofbeat crossed the glade, a good foe 
lock up your son and daughter Beware the deadly flashing blade Unless you want to end up shorter Black Adder, Black Adder He rides a pitch black steed Black Adder, Black Adder He's very bad indeed Black, his gloves are finest mold I thought he was very rude. I thought Henry Tudor would be better looking. Yes, not so Jewish. More like that man who rode by just before. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 